have been very good in providing us information. All riders are using rain tyres. That means Critchaporn on pole for Honda Racing Tile and alongside Andy Farad Isdahar, who needs a win, and Ratapong Willerot, who would love to get a podium. Chip Nakarin, great in the wet. Leads row two, P4, P5. Irfan Ardiancia has to have a one uh, right through penalty. Ibrahim Noradin got a bad start yesterday. Third row of the grid, we've got Carol Idempawi, Kip as they call him, and Azroy Hakim Amwar, both Bunchu Honda racing alongside Galang Hendra Pratama. We've not seen the best of Galang Hendra on the Yamaha Racing Indonesia bike this season. Championship leader leads row four, Helmi Azmat from Pirapong Bunala, the 2019 champion, and his wildcard teammate, Kanatat Jaiman. And then on the fifth row, Ramdan Rosli in the 600s. He's had a tough time so far, Ramdan, for one XOX TKR racing team. Uh, Kritipat from Yamaha High Speed and Fairozi, who I like very much, but he's on a bigger bike and learning throughout the season. Kito Abe starting from row six alongside Shannon, who's in for Kurt Kiao. And on the outside, Ying Chang Chi from Taiwan. Victor. Uh, sorry, um, Abut, high speed racing. So, there's plenty of spoilers in here. This is by no means a certainty for Helmi Asman. He's good enough to secure fourth place. Absolutely, he's good enough to secure a podium place, as he has on six previous occasions so far this season in nine races. So, Helmi has had a, a terrific season, no matter what happens here. But to lose a championship lead on the final day would not go down well on his CV. Yeah, that's still a 14-point lead that he's holding as of now. And so we'll be doing the calculations through this race. But more spoilers than usual, including Pierrepong Boonle. I was going to say, let, let's look at the, play, uh, the, the riders to look out for as, as a danger. But it's the whole, it's a whole flipping lot of them. You've got Azroy Hakim and Ibrahim Noradin, who I think is a, a really terrific racer. Carol Dempawi, Irfan, although he's got the ride through penalty, is a problem. Galang Hendra, we've certainly not seen the best of Galang, but he has had a P5 to his name and a couple of P6s already. And you're quite right, Abe. Kito Abe is a, is a, a terrific racer out of Japan. Yeah, I can see... Um I can see, uh, sorry, I can see Ibrahim coming on to the podium this time. I really can, Des, I don't know why, but I just can. Well, because he's a quality rider, but I can just feel it in the breeze. There he is on the outside left of the that shot in the yellow helmet. Ibrahim Noradin, bike number 66. But Andy Farid is the, heart, is the man we really need to look for. If he gets a victory, then the whole season changes. Oh, Chip Nackerin. Great yeah. start from Kaosong T. Sorry, Des. And Ratapong Willerat's not bad either. Ratapong Willerat is the man who will be leading into the first corner. Behind them. Oh, somebody's going backwards at a rate of knots. And you just um, look if you're... Bunchu Honda, is it Helmi Asman? The answer is no, because Helmi's bright number 32 is shining through the spray, happily positioned in P7 or P8 as they come into the hairpin. That's Irfan, who has a ride-through penalty to do, who led on the way up to turn three, but that's Kritchaporn, who's gone past him. Ratapong behind him. Andy Farid behind him, wiping away his visor. You can see how much spray these wet weather tyres on these bigger engine bikes kick up it's really difficult to see this the lights on they scream into the left hand sequence 35 Critchaporn has just been eased into p2 at the moment Ratapong Gwilarot in the easy to distinguish blue he's being trailed there by Andy Farid is the heart Andy Farid is the man who is uh, got the most chance of taking the title Theoretically, Chip Nackerin has as well, but he would need both Andy Farid and Helmi Asman to have a bit of a nightmare. Yeah, Ratapong being dropped at the moment. Chip Nackerin's in front of him. Andy Farid's in front of him now as well. Wet conditions, although they are drying, but everybody is on wet weather tyres. As Ratapong will or be the local in P5 at the moment, but the man leading the way is, well, Irfan Ardiance. It's all a little bit academic, though, because he's got a ride-through penalty that'll scupper any chances he's got of winning. 
he looks back and he says to Andy Farrett are you with me fella I'm setting a pace for you here you've got to stick alongside me yeah but the one trying to keep up with him is Richard Pornkaus on T the newcomer to this class this year and his teammate Chip Nakarin just behind him so that's not quite going to plan but good work by Irfan Honda Racing Thailand looking pretty good they although they're in the red they've got the the black numbering or the the black front with the white numbering and the Ferrari just behind him and uh, Ratapong is struggling just to keep up as going very wide there was Chip Nakarin gets a, a drive out but this is very very good from Irfan Ardianza it's all a bit of academic though for Irfan yeah, I think he is there as the early pace setter for Andy Farid. And he's moved up and he twitches there as they exit turn four. But keeps it. Didn't think he lost any time there. We need to think now, though, about Helmi Asman. One, two, three, four go through. Helmi Asman, I can tell you, is in P8 at the moment. Behind some good racers, Pitapong and Azri Hakim. Indeed, he's just been overtaken by Chanon Inter. We're focusing on the front just at the moment, but we ought to keep an eye out soon on Helmi Asman. Chip Nakarin, looking good. You talk about the rain as an equaliser. Chanon Inter moving ahead of Helmi Asman is a prime example of that. We haven't seen him before in this series. He's a replacement rider. From the East NJT racing team, yeah, as uh, Andy Farid goes on the inside of Kritchaporn. And Andy Farid looks quite secure there, that's quite nice, he'll be happy with P2. Irfan leads, there's the pace setting, and this could be team tactics, this could be very effective team tactics. Irfan may be giving up a place or a position to take um, Andy Farid as long and deep into this race as he possibly can the thing you want in uh, wet conditions is to have somebody in front of you because you never quite know what conditions are going to how conditions are going to change the front rider will uh, will be the first to discover that often to their cost so this is brilliant tactics by Astra Honda so Irfan Ariancia streaking away at the front and Andy Farid second maybe a second behind him in the de facto p1 he is a de facto p1 which means that the pressure really is on helmi asman because he needs a p4 if andy farid is the heart has that p1 he can be as low as p9 if andy farid doesn't get p1 and only gets p2 but he needs p4 at the moment because this big lead for Earth and Ardianza will disappear. And Krejcipor still leading Chip Nakarin in the mini tussle between the two Thai Hondas. Helmi's got himself up into P7 ahead of Chanon Inter. Azroy Hakim has dropped down to P9. Galang Hendra not far behind in P10. The middle of this group is fascinating. But there's the de facto leader. Does Irfan stay out? The answer is no, he's gone in for his ride through penalty. So a ride through penalty being served by Irfan. Irfan are the answer, but he's done the pace setting. Take it home from here. That's it. The baton has been passed, and that's Spiripong Boonla. Oh! And who have we got off here? It wasn't a ride through. He disappeared off, not to ride through the penalty. Maybe he slipped through on that final corner, uh, corner 12. That's what I was saying about the, the man at the front will always discover how the conditions are changing. That's just what happened, but that was part of that plan. Not for him to fall off, but uh, it's better. And Shannon Inter up into sixth place behind Pierrepont Boonlert. So, wild cards. And unfamiliar riders, Shannon Inter on the privateer EAST machine. So Boonshu Honda will be hoping that uh, the Thai Honda racing team can really do them a favour. They'll want Chip Nakarin and Krichapon to get closer to Andy Farid Isdahar. Right, problem so for Azroy Hakim Amwar. 
Yeah, he is in the pits. He was uh, he was languishing in the middle of the field. Now he's come in. Perhaps a problem for Azroy as he looks down. That's his race over. That's his season over, effectively, yeah, Azroy Hakim. Yeah, he's had a tumble. Good season for Azroy. Five podiums, one win, two thirds, and yeah, there's a fair amount of damage there. And that's from eight starts because he missed round one. He did indeed. He was one of those quarantine sufferers. So Andy Farid, that doesn't make things any easier for Helmi Asman. Helmi, if Andy Farid is here, Helmi must get up into P4. If Andy Farid is overtaken by Chip Nakarin or Krichaporn or Ratapong, which is a possibility with um, eight laps to go. It is a possibility. Sorry, Des, but uh, Nakarin is very good in the wet. We saw Helmi going through there. Galang Hendra chases him. Galang Hendra in P8 at the moment. He's the man chasing uh, Helmi Asman coming out of the spray. Bike number 32, Helmi Asman at the moment will not win the championship if this race was called now. He's pushing though, Helmi. He's looking more confident on the bike. He's got a privateer in front of him, which shouldn't be in the script. And he's got the 2019 champion in front of him, running as a wild card on another privateer bike. So this, there is something not quite right with this picture. Help me, Asman needs to sort it Ooh, out. Oh, there was a, a twitch there for bike number 98 on Pirapong Boonlert. And that enables Helmi to maybe get close to the 2019 champion. Bizarrely, the defending champion. Thank you, COVID. Yeah, what a part the plague has had in this uh, championship. But in the close season, we can do those counterfactuals. Des, not now. We've got too many calculations to make. But Hel this is looking much more confident from Helmi. He's just focused on this battle with Pirapong for now and that's maybe just taking the pressure out of his mind. Quite right, he's a racer is this fella and he loves to be involved. I keep talking about him and Azroy Hakim, they're always going toe to toe. Azroy won't be going toe to toe with anyone today, he will try and come out and pick up some points but uh, you're quite right, um, Helmi Asman loves to be racing and he's racing against Pirapong at the moment. That's damage, that's not good. My, uh, my feeling about uh, Ibrahim appears to have let me down. He's currently down in P11. And definitely le leaving it too late. Uh, this is an impressive ride by Shannon Inter. Shannon represented the East NJT racing team. That's a wild card here. He got a P14 yesterday up at the front though. Uh, okay, Ratapong has made a move back on Krichaporn. And that's not good news for if um, you're in the Bunchu Honda camp because it means that the Honda Racing Thailand team aren't at full pace. The Yamaha has gone past one and he's got Chip Nakarin in his sights as well. Bandy Farid is the heart looking for back-to-back -back wins, looking for a fourth win of the season. Uh, just as an observation, Des, when Andy Farid has had bad finishes, or, or have thrown it down the road, which he has a couple of times. It's been in race two. He has. <laughs> Is that a prediction? <laughs> no, but it's something he pointed out to me in the Thursday press conference. So thank you, Andy, for it. Well, he'll be hoping that that is not the case no, here. I sincerely hope he doesn't uh, have any misfortune today. Indeed, that's struck him on two occasions so far this season. Race two, a P14 and a P15. But here, he is in P1. All he can do is win. His last lap, a 149.4. He's regularly inside 149.5. And look at Helmi Asman, 150.8. He's a second plus a lap quicker than Helmi Asman. Helmi in bike third. 32 in seventh championship leader his title is hanging by a thread you know yeah and Ratapong moves ahead of Chip Nakarin into P2 and Krichaporn holding on well we could have expected him to fade a little bit as uh, Azroy comes back just for uh, an end of year run out on the Honda CBR 600 RR so uh, watching again Helmi Helmi Asman two wins two seconds two thirds in the season and it might not be enough to take him the title. Has Ratapong Gwilarok got enough? It's nearly two seconds, the differential between Andy Farid, Isdahar, 
and that upon Gwilarat and wet tyres will equalise things. Two seconds is a huge amount to make up in the last six laps of a race. I'd be surprised if Andy gave that up, knowing his quality, his experience. We're talking about Ratapong's experience, but Andy Farid, my goodness, he's a top quality rider. All he could do coming into this final weekend was win both races and hope the helmet didn't perform to the top of his abilities. And he won race one yesterday, Andy Farid. He's looking good for race two here. That would be three wins out of four at Boriram. He was second at Sepang, second in Sugo. Uh, won at Sepang second time round. Hugely popular racer, Andy Farid, of course, back home. And uh, if, we, if we could see it, I'm sure the uh, live stream comments are lighting up uh, on YouTube and Facebook right now. Indeed, indeed. Andy Farid looking very, very good. He comes into the Notorious Corner 12. It's only notorious if there's people around you. Now he's looking good. The pit crew are giving him good news. Andy, my son, with five laps to go, you are leading by 2.37 seconds. This is yours to lose. I'm looking at Helmi Asman. Pirapong comes through. Now Helmi comes through. But P5 would not be good enough for Helmi Asman. He needs P4. He needs something to happen to one of the riders chasing behind uh, Andy Farid. That's Chip Nakarin getting well out of shape, but recovering. He's also very good at that. <laughs> Barry Russell with an intimate knowledge, particularly of the Thai races. He's been on the scene here in Thailand for so long, but Andy Farid is, he's racing away literally with this one. Looking very, very secure, looking smooth, leaning nicely into the corners as the weather conditions have eased just in time for him. Yeah, Helmy's got a, a good chance, which he should take of getting ahead of Pirapong. But it wouldn't be enough, you know. It'd it then be in the lap of the racing gods. Andy Farid. All he can do, focus on a 50-point weekend. And then see where everything else falls. And I Helmy has just moved ahead of Pirapong. But Critchaporn is a long way distant in front of him. What I can tell you is, at the moment, Helmy Asman, 158 points. Andy Farid Isdaha, 158 points. Another count back would be deciding another ARRC championship. It is the most competitive championship I can recall in world racing, in world uh, road racing at all. It's still not over yet though. The gap is come down quite a bit there from Ratapong. 1.5, Ratapong just put in a a 148.6, no, uh, what was his last lap? A 148. Yeah, he was the fastest last time around, Ratapong. Eight tenths quicker. He's caught eight tenths up on Andy Farid. Helmy up into P5, but a long way down on P4, who is uh, Critchaporn. A long way down and not on Critchaporn's pace either. He's about half a second off it. Four laps to go. Well, three full laps plus the remainder of this as Andy Farid comes into the left-hander, the first left-handers. Tell you what, visually, Ratapong Willerat is closing up on Andy Farid. This race is not over. Yeah, they're coming into the technical section now, so let's see how close he can get as they go through turns five through to turn 11. Track is drying up. That will mean that racers can just make a little bit more of a gamble as they go into the corner. Andy Farid still leads, but Ratapong Willerot is on a charge. A last lap, 146, 148.6. Be interested to see what his lap time is this time round. Three and a half laps to go. Andy Farid, who's been leading, what, since lap two, is now just beginning to come under a little bit of pressure. Yeah, we're about to see as they cross the line what that difference is. Total concentration from Andy Farid. It was 1.5 seconds last time out. This time, as Andy Farid goes over the start-finish line, Ratapong is inside a second. He's the race is on. He's half the, the differential. 
on that last lap and we have three laps to go so if Ratapong was able to take the win then Helmi Asman P5 would be enough to take the title Helmi is relying upon Ratapong Willerat to gift him the title Ratapong himself won the title here in dramatic fashion back in 2018 when Supersports was the premier class here and now he's involved in another dramatic finish. We're looking at the battle now for P3 between Nakarin and Krichaporn. That's a domestic dispute. <laughs> Tell you what, Andy Farid Isdahar, I think, is aware of the challenge from Ratapong and has just focused a little bit more. But the pressure certainly is on as they come into this left-hander. Andy Farid with Ratapong. He's leaning beautifully into those corners. He's looking fit for the first time this season, Ratapong Willerot. Yeah, there was a little error on the entry to turn five by Andy Farid, as we just see the pit signals going out. That's the Yamaha. It is okay. Go for it. Go for it. You've got nothing to lose, Ratapong Willerot. Everything to gain. But Andy Farid just seems to have pulled away a little bit. He's put the afterburners down and just accelerated away. And that gap was 0.89 of a second at the end of the last lap. Oh, great drama. Great drama. Okay. At the moment, the title belongs to Andy Farid on count back ahead of Helmi Asman. And Helmi that... needs something magical. And that's the current championship leader coming down towards turn 12 Andy Farid having a look, in, look behind was that an anxious look back or was it a yeah but he just stretched the gap a little bit you were right Des he did pull something out on that lap there's just less than two laps to go now oh this is bubbling up beautifully Ratapong Willerat he has the fate of the championship in his hands if he can catch Andy Farid Helmi's the champion if he can't Andy Farid is the champion that is the equation as we come into the final eight kilometers of Boriram. And it was Ratapong who was fastest through sector one. Now they're in sector two. A good three tenths faster. And look, he's closed right up here. But this is where Andy Farid just seems to have it. And getting onto the back wheel is one thing, overtaking a completely different ball game if you are Ratapong Willerot. And if it is going to happen, it probably is going to be last time around, Des, at the last turn. Oh, my word. It is building up. It is bubbling, bubbling, bubbling. Helmi Asman, P5. Another it great, sorry, Des, another great sector two for Ratapong. Each time he's taken two or three tenths off Andy Farid Isdahar. And he takes the tighter line. Now he's got possibly got a slipstream going into the final, final lap as they come into corner number 12 for the penultimate time. Andy Farid Isdahar late on the brakes. Uh, Ratapong Willerot, the local with the inside knowledge. He is right on his tail. We have got a shootout for the title into the last lap of the Supersport 600cc. Fastest lap of the race by about half a second for Ratapong that time around as they get into this final lap on the run up to turn three, the long run up to turn three. Ratapong will have a look as Rat they come up here. Ratapong Willero takes the lead and with that the title possibly changes hands. Has he gone too early? Therein lies the question, round the hairpin, Andy Farid tries the switchback, tries to go on the inside, Ratapong holds on, hold on to your hats. You can't uh, overestimate what a difficult move that was by Ratapong to come through in those wreck conditions and get ahead of Andy Farid and hold it. Now they go into this fast, furious turn four. Ratapong has the lead, Andy Farid needs to get into the lead, the title depends on these last couple of corners, they come into the left-handers, then the right-handers, and he's got to make his move, Barry. He's got to make his move, it's difficult just in this section to do it, it is going to come down to turn 12, Des. Ratapong Willerot on the Yamaha, a last lap lead from Andy Farid. Has he taken the title away from the Indonesian or has Andy Farid got something left 
in the tank the right hander then the left hander and then we will come down to the final final thrilling stages Andy Farrett prepares to get in position this is it this is the title on the line Andy Farrett on the inside Farrett into the lead is it the title Ratapong goes narrow Andy Farrett has got the title on the final corner of the final lap of the season Andy Farrett takes it in sensational sensational style because Helmi Asman is in P5 and Helmi Asman will be level on points with Andy Farid but will lose on the countback. 11 seconds, 12 seconds back on the winner. It was not good enough for Helmi Asman on the day where it mattered most. Heartbreak in the Bunsu Honda team. What a breathless, I and mean, it's hard enough for us, but imagine being in that team. There is Andy Farid. What is he feeling right now? Can he believe it? Is how it cool, how brave to leave his braking so late going into the final corner. Nothing more Ratapon could have done there. He tried everything. He nearly lost it in his efforts, but Andy Farid stayed clean. He got the drive out of turn 12, and there it is in lights once again for the Supersport 600 champion, Andy Farid Isdeha. On a wins countback. For the third time today, we've given you a title at the end of 10 races, decided two on wins come back and one by a single point. Wow, just mad. And Ratapong will wrap. Big, big kudos for Ratapong. This is the final corner. Barry Russell, talk us through it. So Ratapong did come down. Andy Farid had a plan. He came onto the inside. He held it. He held it. He turned late didn't leave much room for Ratapong. Ratapong had to give way and now the back steps out and so he lost his drive. It was all for Andy Farid who had time to wheelie across the line and take that victory by half a second. Oh look at the Astra Honda pit. Wow. Uh, and I think I can fear the Andy Farid, the Andy Gilang fans cheering in Indonesia from here. Wow. Just amazing, amazing stuff. Congratulations, Andy Farid. Three wins in the last four races have propelled him to the title. Four wins in all. He started the season with a victory at Buram. He's finished with the season at Buram. Immense commiserations to Helmi Asman. Losing the title on wins count back. But uh, the champion, Andy Farid, knew exactly what he had to do. His pit wall kept him in touch with what he ex exactly had to do. And the result is a squealing into the Park Fermi and a huge hug from his team. Incredible ride by Andy Farid. Incredible teamwork by Astra Honda looking back to earlier in the race. What a magical series. What a magical. Oh, and by the way, Christian Porn finished third. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Uh, Nakarin was fourth. Kritchapon did well to beat his highly rated, highly experienced teammate. And they were the riders that finished ahead of Helmi Asman. And the 2019 champion, Pirapong Boonler, came in sixth place. 23 seconds adrift of Andy, but pretty good performance coming in as a wildcard privateer. For all the celebrations we're seeing with Astra Honda, and you can see the 250 guys there offering their congratulations to Andy Farid A real commiserations to Helmi Asman. Brilliant season from him, but there has to be a winner. And I think we can go down into the Park Ferme and get some kind of reaction from uh, the hard-working uh, Daniel Bokers down in the Park Ferme. There's tears there. 
it's great. Adananta, yeah. his disappointment is put to one side. Yeah, this is such a tight team, Des, the Astra Honda team. And Andy Farid is a real leader within it. Yeah, congratulations, well done. We don't mind waiting for the interview. Yeah, hold it high. It's done. Only just. <laughs> by a, <laughs> by a, not even by a whisker, by a count back. Andy Farid is the half. Champion, Super Sport 600 2022. I'm breathless. I am voiceless. And Daniel, please take over the reins. So we're down here, park for me for the Super Sport 600 race to none other than the champion of the 2022 season, Andy Farid. Andy, what a way to win the championship and what a race that was at the end. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what to say. I guess uh, first uh, I want to thank to my family. Uh, always support me until the end. Uh, and also all the Indonesia people. Uh, my team especially also that uh, helped me always uh, uh, this season I was up and down but they always support me give the best for me and this is I think they deserve this uh, result and uh, thank you so much I don't know what to say again thank you thank you so much Andy congratulations again Final race of the Supersport 600 CC Championship at the Asia Road Racing Championship Tang International Circuit. Irfan Ardianza playing uh, the role of pace setter for Andy Farid Istaha, but the uh, Hondas of uh, Chip Nakarin and Kritchaporn also setting the pace early on with Ratapong Grillrot keeping it nice and tight. The mathematics of this Barry Russell were that uh, Andy Farid Isdaha had to win. Bike number 27 had to win and then he had to hope that Helmi Asman, the championship leader, bike number 32, would finish fifth or worse. Exactly right and this was a good job by Irfan Ardiancia and brilliant tactics I have to say by the Astro Honda team. This was a plan and they executed it brilliantly. We keep talking about how tight this team is and they really proved it again here. Uh, Ratapong dropped back early on and then he managed to get ahead of the two Thai Hondas. Here is Helmi. Helmi at this stage was uh, running around about P5, four laps to go. He knew he couldn't get better than this. And so he was reliant upon Ratapong Willerat's chase of Andy Farid Isdahar. And Ratapong put in some fabulous fast times. Again, Helmi, he did as best as he could. P4 is what he needed. P5, he was fingers crossed that uh, Ratapong would close in. And Ratapong did close in some fast laps and would eventually go and take the lead on the last lap to set up the most intense finale. He really hunted him down and here we go. He moved in front on the way up to turn three. This was an incredibly well executed move. He just held it tight enough to stop Andy switching back on him and he held the lead for almost the rest of the lap. Final corner of the final race of the season and this happens, Andy Farad is there, has to hold it, Ratapong back end goes, loses the drive, wheelie from the champion Andy Farad is there, he, you'd think he'd won it by a million miles, he's won it on count back, but he's won it because Helmi could only come in fifth, a brave, brave effort in a terrific season for Helmi Asman, but it's only second in the championship and a champion for Andy Farid Isdar, Astra Honda Racing Indonesia. He came into this weekend, he needed to win both races. That was his mission and he did it. We don't see many double wins in the Asia Road Racing Championship. Let's not forget Krichapon, who comes to the podium now. 
Very good race for him and a good achievement to beat his teammate Chipnacker in. And Andy Farad is the heart. Well, he takes first place. A, a brilliant from um, Ratapong Boonle. Uh, sorry, sorry, Ratapong um, Willerot. As Astro Honda Racing. This time it's a very happy Astro Honda Racing. What a race. Forget, forget the overall championship. What a race in its own right. It was a fantastic race. When, when Andy crossed the line, I wasn't sure whether he was just celebrating the victory, which was so well won, or whether he knew he'd won the championship. Masanori Enemoto is the man handing out the prizes, the MD of Idemitsu Lubricant Asia Pacific. Our oh, thanks to the sponsors. Of course, it's, a, it's not a cheap sport, is motor racing, and particularly in these COVID-affected uh, times. So the support of the, and your race winner, of the manufacturers and, and the sponsors are absolutely crucial to the continued success. To give us afternoons like this and to give us races like that, that is just, now, like that's a world-class event we've just seen. FIA Asia represented to present a team award for the Super Sport 600 class. The team award being handed out by uh, Tong Chai Wong Sawan from FIM Asia. And this is a much, much happier um, Astro Honda racing team. Yep, their day is done. Astro Honda. And we have Mr. Tanesri Chan Vita, the managing director of China International Circuit, to prepare, present the trophy to the Astro Honda. In fact, uh, Tanesri. Uh, the managing director of Chang International Circuit has made his way up as well to hand out that award. It's been a great venue. Even when it's raining, it's a great venue. <laughs> Andy Farid ahead of Ratapong. The difference in the end, half a second. It seems like a convincing win. It was not. Ratapong chased him down over three and a half laps, took the lead, and then was taken by a brave maneuver on the last corner, the notorious corner 12. Well done to Krichaporn, who I've continued to ignore. Sorry, Barry. He came P3. Here's the championship standings. Level.